Okay guys, as promised, here's the new pit setup I'm running on my uh, Rotorite tank with the uh, 1750 KV uh, 2207 motors, the, lo the real low KV motors for 6S. Uh, this is my 4S tune, profile 1. As you can see, I'm running on quite a bit higher numbers here, uh, especially on the D gain, the D gain and the D max. Uh, and I run a pretty high feed forward. And here is the sliders if you want to look at them. Now, even with these real high D gains like this, my motors come down just barely warm. And I mean, you can dog the shit out of it. You can run it hard as you want. And uh, and I'm running, you, but with this, you know, with, with those, uh, with that low KV motor, you really need high pitch props. You need at least 4.5 pitch up to like a 5 pitch. I, today I was running 4.8 pitch on the props and it was, it was pretty good. Uh, and even with all that, you, you, you know, you can get, a, you can get a, a solid three minutes of flight times running the dog out of it and uh, off a 1300 4S LiPo with that low KV motors. Uh, you don't have gobs of power though I mean if you if you're thinking about you're going to do a big dive and pull out you, you you're probably going to bump the ground but hey it is very smooth very fun to fly like this all right and uh, the only thing to note here is you go down here I'm running a dynamic idle value of 30 and this is what you want to set right here guys if, if you're running 6s and 4s and you don't want to have to plug it into the computer each time to, to change the, the profile. Just go to the cell count right here. And like profile one for me is my 4S tune. So right here in that, I put, you just open it up and click 4S. Hit save. All right, now anytime I plug a 4S LiPo in, my flight controller is going to detect that it's 4S and it's going to automatically change the profile even if it was even if I'd been running it on profile 2 or 3 like for 6S it's going to detect that it was a 4S and it's going to change it back to profile 1 before I start flying so I don't have to mess with it okay now this is the 4S tune this is going to hit this here is going to be the 6S tune you can see on the 6S tune I've lowered my D gains quite a bit because uh, I've got it now, now these everything's lowered. If you look, this is lower. This is lower. The only th and even this is a a, a little bit lower. Uh, when you're running 4S on low KV motors, you got to jack all these numbers way up to get to get the motors to, to respond real good. But on 6S, you got so much power already, you got to lower this shit. And, and even even the way I got it here, my motors come down pretty darn warm. I mean, but it was hot today, but they come down pretty warm. Not hot enough you're going to risk burning them up, but, uh, you know, they're not cool like I'm used to. Uh, you can still hold on to them. But this is pretty much as far as I want to push things. If I go any further than this, I'm afraid I might start overheating my motors. Uh, and here is the, the sliders, if you want to take a look at those. And like I say, this is a uh, Profile 2, this is my 6S tune, so right down here. I've got 6S, so it'll automatically, automatically detect it and change it to 6S. Now the only other thing I got different here is 6S on this quad is actually a little, a little too powerful for me. Uh, I'm sure I could get used to it, but the problem is I've been running 4S and uh, with bad batteries and stuff, and I'm used to having a real weak quad, a quad that don't fly very strong. So it's just easier for me to fly that way. So what I have done here is I go over to rate profile. I think it's on rate profile where is it no it's not rate profile let me go back my bad ah, I'm losing my mind here it's still over here somewhere over here uh, right here motor output limit that's the only other thing to note this is my 6s setup and it was too powerful for me so I put a motor output limit of 83% that makes it like a 5s battery even though you got a 6s on it it makes it like a 5s battery but I gotta tell you, I thought I was getting long run times on these on these 6S batteries, but I'm not. I'm I'm lucky if I get two minutes with with me running it hard, even with it set at 83%. Uh, now I, I get I get a solid three minutes on my 4S runs on these motors, but on the 6S, 
uh, right now I'm getting, like I say, barely two minutes. I, uh, I don't know. I could have swore I got like four minutes the other day, but I'm not getting it now. So I don't know what the difference is, but I've got everything maxed out pretty good here. Uh, real snappy. I don't know if that made a difference or what, but... Anyway, guys, this is the setup for the Rotorite tank with all the MEPS parts in it. And, uh... The real low 1750 kV motors. I think if I get another set of motors, guys, I'm going to try to get some 1950 kVs. I believe that would be just the sweet spot. I believe that would give me just a little bit more power for me to run 4S to where I'd be happy with it. And I could use a motor uh, output limit like I've got here to tame my 6S down. And I believe it would be perfect. But I didn't buy these motors. These motors are, and I didn't request these motors from MEPS. Uh, they was given to me by Bo. He had bought them for something else, and we was doing some trading, and and that's just what I had to take. Uh, I like them, but I, they could have been a little bit higher KV because forest just is a little weak. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. You can run forest on a 6S, and you can tame a 6S down. So, y'all guys have a great day, and I hope you hope you learned something, and I hope you enjoyed this.